All right, here it is, the first video. If you're anything like me, you've put off making a YouTube channel for a long time now. And when I say a long time, I've been wanting to create a channel for years now. And I've just been too scared. And it's finally gotten to the point where I just, I, I can't, I can't wait any longer. I don't want to, I want to get started. I want to get started growing. So I'm here to tell you it's not too late. And it's not really going to be too late. If I'm being quite honest, YouTube has so many active users on a daily basis it's like something like two billion users right now that's a lot of people so whether or not you have already made the channel or you're still thinking about it now is the best time because the sooner you get started the sooner you can start getting better if you never get started you can't improve because you don't have anything to improve on so hopefully somebody sees this and uh, is, is motivated in, in some way. Some of the things that helped me overcome the fear of making the channel was kind of taking baby steps up to the point of actually making the channel. The first thing that was like really stopping me was deciding on a name for the channel. But yeah, some of the things that helped me to actually start doing this <laughs> after waiting so long was I decided on a name. So I went with using my personal name because I eventually want to build a personal brand. Uh, so some of the other people that do this is, is people like Peter McKinnon and Chris Ramsey are, are, you know, just two right off the top of my head that I've been watching for a long time. And there's many, many others, but you know that that's definitely a good option in my opinion if especially if you want to build a personal brand eventually so if you're undecided on a name just use your own name uh, i'm still not really sure what type of content i want to make i have a passion for photography i have a passion for cars i have a passion for tech I have a passion for gaming, but so I'm really, I really don't know, to be honest. <laughs> I just wanted to make my first video and get it out there. Really wanted to make my first three or four videos. I'm actually going to use one of Think Media's tips, and that is to go live with your channel with three to four videos. So people have more than one video to watch if they stumble across your channel instead of just one video. So yeah, it's not too late to start a YouTube channel in 2023 or 2024 or whatever year you're watching this. It's not too late. As long as YouTube is still a thing, the demand for good content will always outweigh supply. So if you're back and forth on creating a channel, just do it. You don't have to be an expert in any, anything in particular to start a channel. You just need to be passionate about a topic and willing to create content about it, especially if you want to share your passions or your hobbies or your talents. YouTube is an awesome way to do that. And it can be very fun and rewarding if you are consistent with it. It can turn into a full-time career, but you have to be consistent. That's one of the biggest problems that new YouTubers face is quitting and i'll admit this is gonna be tough i thought i would never even get to this point of actually filming uh, anything so i i understand i can already tell this is gonna be difficult so go ahead give it a try you never know where it might take you i've been sitting here in silence for like five minutes trying to remember like it was there something else i wanted to say or did i say everything i'm pretty sure i just realized i've been looking at my 
monitor screen this whole time. I've not even been looking at the lens. It's hard, man. It's hard. Not really sure what my outro uh, is gonna be. I'm about to put this footage on my MacBook and probably struggle for the next few days trying to edit this video uh, because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to editing. Also, not really sure what my intro should be. I don't really have, I, I feel like I don't have a name that flows off of the tongue like like Peter McKinnon. Like, he, he does the whole, what's up guys, it's Peter McKinnon here and it just flows off the tongue, right? And Chris Ramsey too, like, it, it just, it flows. I feel like my name doesn't float like Dalton Parker. What's up guys, it's Dalton Parker. Yeah, that, 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 I don't know. Maybe it's just me cringing because I'm scared and I don't know. I'll, I'll decide on the intro eventually. Yeah, for now there's probably not gonna even be an intro. Is, is that a, is that a good idea? If, if you like the video, if you gain something from it, <laughs> drop me a like. Uh, I, I don't know, leave, leave a comment if you didn't like it, or if you liked it, leave a comment too. I, 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 I don't, I don't know, man, I, what, what feels right as an outro? If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Like, I, it's, thank you. I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.